I nominated Bryden for a Hero Award because of Bryden's actions with respect to a situation that happened with my grandson. Bryden and Jackson are cousins, and Bryden is 14, and Jackson is now two. And Jackson has just been the joy of all our lives, but especially Bryden, because I think he feels like a big brother now. Jackson had not been feeling well, and they brought him up to our house, and the minute, apparently, the minute they got into the house, Bryden, or Jackson, stood up, and he started seizuring. And all I remember hearing is just a giant crash on the floor, and I don't know what it was, so I ran up the stairs even before I got to close to the shower, and I see Jackson all lying on the floor. And she tells me, Jackson's going into convulsions. I'm like, I called 911. And so I called 911, I told them, okay, we need an ambulance. And he's like, okay, and so I'm relying on the information my mom told me where their address was. He was just so calm about doing that, as, as what I've heard anyways, I wasn't there. And then he ran to the end of the driveway, which our driveway is very long. And he also had the wherewithal to think to grab his cell phone. And I felt kind of bad telling my aunt that it, since it was her birthday and everything. And so I told her, hey, Jackson's having a seizure. You guys need to hurry up and get here. And so after that, I put the phone away. I ran to the end of the road. And Bryden went to that cabin and asked them all to move their cars because an ambulance was coming. And I ran on the end of the road and waited for them at the thing. And then they showed up and I told them to go down this road and they followed that. And the ambulance ultimately had to take Jackson to the hospital. And the ambulance driver said, we need a, a car seat and without, uh, without hesitation, Bryden went to the car, undid the car seat, got the car seat, helped the paramedic put it on the stretcher Panic is your worst enemy, is because it's like you're gonna fear of everything can go wrong. And when you panic, you're not thinking, you're just gonna do a bunch of things that aren't gonna help you at all. And Bryden and I followed in the car, and he talked to me the whole way, and told me what he did, and told me, you know, it's gonna be okay, it's gonna be okay. We went and he followed, uh, we all went to the hospital, and he sat and just prayed and and was there for the whole thing. And ultimately Jackson came around and the doctor said he's gonna be okay and it was a seizure due to a very high fever. I feel like that somebody in my kind of crisis, like I feel like I'd rather have that somebody do the same thing, like I did the same thing for Jackson. I hope that if like in years to come or something, like if it was me, somebody would have done it the same thing.